What really happens when sugar turns into luscious caramel? Imagine a single grain of sugar, pure, white, and sweet. When heated, something magical unfolds. At around 320 degrees, 160 degrees, sugar molecules begin to break down and rearrange. This isn't just melting, it's a complex chemical dance. As the temperature rises, the sucrose splits into glucose and fructose. These simple sugars then react further, forming hundreds of new compounds that create a symphony of flavors. Rich notes emerge, buttery, nutty, and even a hint of bitterness that balances the sweetness. The golden color. That's due to the creation of light-absorbing molecules called caramelans, caramelins, and caramelins, which deepen the hue and add complexity. But be careful, just a few degrees too hot, and caramel goes from delicious to burnt in seconds, turning bitter and acrid. This delicate transformation is why caramelized onions, creme brulee, and toffee all boast such irresistible depth and character. Next time you drizzle caramel over dessert, remember, you're tasting the result of a precise, sweet chemical transformation that delights the senses and elevates simple sugar into something truly extraordinary.